Hi right, guys, VTech here, Blueberry Hill. Welcome back to the channel. So something a little different. Uh, I wanted to do, get a tire changer machine and a balancer so I could actually reduce the cost of uh, balancing tires for the number of tires I have. So uh, I put the word out and a uh, buddy of mine named Todd, he runs uh, Shop Outfitters at a college station, had a used, uh, quite well used Coates 7060EX, um, which he gave me at a, a pretty good price and needed a little bit of love and tender care. So I bought it for him from him and uh, I'm doing a little bit of R&R at the moment. The tire machine actually worked. Uh, the breaker was actually extremely uh, weak on uh, breaking the tires loose. So I just rebuilt this cylinder, this does that. He claimed he had done that. I think the, the piston inside was new. I think the O-rings were okay as well, but I changed it anyway uh, since I had the kit already. Um, I pre-bought it before I went to get the machine. Here I'm putting the piston on there. Um, and then I shove it in the, uh, the cylinder, button that part up. And uh, the rest of the, the fix on the machine was just putting new air lines and a couple of fittings um, on the, the thing. Uh, what threw me for a loop is that the, the small air lines, they're three and a half millimeter uh, on the uh, OD, and uh, inside I believe they're two, two millimeter or something or other. They're very tiny, uh, but two of the fittings that <clears throat> go on the inside of the machine on the, the uh, breaker valve uh, did not want to seal properly, so I had to get two new fittings um, and then source the air lines themselves. So here's the air valve. This is the old air valve. Um, I'm taking that out. Um, so I don't know what was wrong with it. Uh, they have rebuild kits for them, just O-rings and stuff. Who cares? Um, I bought the new new valve and it seems to work. Uh, here I'm doing, after doing that, I was waiting for some uh, airlines to come in. I decided to clean up the machine. I, I did a little bit of sanding on it cleaning up, degreased it, and now I'm doing some uh, pri etch etching primer uh, just to make it look a little more respectable. Um, I like clean clean stuff, well taken care of. Uh, this machine uh, looks like it's seen a few miles on it. So anyway, not a big deal, just cleaning things up. Um, I did the uh, the table. I actually have this stuff called Coro Seal, which is a rust neutralizer. Um, and I painted the, uh, the, the legs that actually uh, hook onto the wheels. I don't know what you call them, those black things on top of the table. And uh, anyway, I cleaned those up real good, uh, put that core seal on them, and you see that they're quite black. And now I'm just using a generic red uh, Rust-Oleum paint uh, from Home Depot. Two cans did the, the trick, and uh, it looks a hell of a lot better. Just for fun, I did buy uh, three of the small lines. I bought three versions of it. Um, I thought they were an inch, eighth of an inch. Uh, you know, I guess I should have measured the ones that were on there, but they look like an eighth. Um, they're not three, three point five millimeter. An eighth is roughly four millimeter. Um, and two of the fittings would take the one eighth or the four millimeter. Uh, two of the fittings did not. So um, decided to get the three and a half. That worked. However, um, as when I got the machine the, on the breaker valve itself, one of the lines would not seal up, <coughs> and uh, I had to rebuild a little t-connection on it you'll see that in a little a few minutes here but uh anyway at least i made the machine look great <laughs> um better than it was so i'm removing all the tape from the decals and the other portions of the machine i did keep the old decals on there the safety stuff whatever and uh some usage information uh the decals themselves did, they're not in the greatest shape but i kept them anyway just for the heck of it um the machine looks great so here I'm shoving the, uh, the tank back in. You can see the tank's already in place. Now I'm doing the valve. And in a minute I'll show you the little T-connection that I had to put on that valve. So this is a kind of a generic air valve. They, a lot of places seem to sell them. They're about 100 bucks, 125 bucks or something like that. Um, and once I put this in, everything seemed to work perfectly. Um, the T-connection, the brass thing, um, and two new air push connects were required. It seems to be working. And of course this here. Whoa. Awesome. So one thing I didn't I uh ordered these pads a little late. I ordered them I believe yesterday. Uh they should be here in a couple of days. Put those on, then we'll uh we're gonna break some tires loose. But anyway, I made it look pretty nice. Um just generic uh, rustoleum red and uh cleaned up. Sanded it down a little bit. I used uh, this stuff called uh, Coro Seal. This is a little bit rusty. Coro Seal is a new rust neutralizer. So I sprayed it on there. It turns everything kind of black when it's working, and it's like a primer. So that's sealed up. 
everything looks good. Everything's working nice. Um, we're gonna give it a whirl after we get the pads. I don't have any tires to bust yet, but the machine's ready to roll. And then I got my little, you know, Chinese special tire ma uh, balancer. It works. I uh, calibrated it. Um, everything checked out just fine, so it's ready to roll too. So I'm gonna put this bad, bad boy back together, put the uh, coach cover on it, and we're good to go.